Hi there and welcome to this IBM Cloud Foundation Skills Series video. This video is going to focus on using the catalogue in the IBM Cloud. So, um, so very basically the catalogue, um, it lists all the services that are available in the IBM Cloud. So if you want to know what's there, go and have a look in the catalogue. Um, it's a starting point for any provisioning of services. So, um, so if you actually want to create a new service, um, the first place to go is to the catalogue. Um, select the service that you want to uh, provision and, and go from there. Uh, and lastly, it's the place to look for pricing and other information for a service. So, um, so if you're ready, um, let's uh, fire up our IBM Cloud accounts and go and have a look at the catalogue. Great, so here we are. Um, I'm logged into my IBM Cloud account. Um, as you can see, uh, there's my, uh, my service that we created in the last video. I'm still running, which is the Cloud and Database. So as I said, this 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 uh, um, this video is obviously all about uh, the catalog. So um, to get there, we just uh, click on catalog in the uh, menu up here, and um, and and this is basically the catalog. Now, if you're um, if you're using a light account, um, what you'll probably notice is that um, you'll see a filter up here, um, which will be uh, label light. There we go. So, so if you are using a light account, then um, by default you will see um, a smaller subsection of uh, of the catalog, and that's because um, the only ones that you'll you'll see as default are the are the, um, the the light services or services that are you know you, you can provision on a on a light um, payment plan, uh, which are all of course free of charge. Um, if you want to um, see all of them, then um, simply um, just just delete that label. Um, the other way that you can uh, you can filter is just by pressing this button here, and then you can see all the different uh, types of plans or types of services rather that are actually available from uh, from IBM uh, Cloud. So if you do just want to see light, just tick that box. If you want to see the uh, types of services that have come from IBM, um, then you can uh, tick this box, and these are all the ones that are provided by uh, by IBM. Um, you can you can change that and just say well. I want to see what's there from third parties, and uh, if you watched all of the videos um, where I went through all of the different services that were available in IBM Cloud, I, I did say that there were third party services which I didn't go through, um, and as you can see there's actually uh, quite a lot of those as well, so that would be uh, probably another video or two on its own. Um, there's also um, services which have been uh, provided by the community, um, so, um, so you can check those out. Node Red is, is actually quite a good one to play with, and we'll probably have a video on that later. Uh, we also have some services which are beta. Now, as I said in an earlier earlier video, um, beta services are services which are um, fairly likely to go general availability um, at some point in the future, um, but um, used use with a little bit of caution uh, because they are still subject to change. And uh, then last of all, we have deprecated services um, so these are services which um, are actually on their way out of the catalogue, and um, um, again, you should shouldn't really be um, creating any new applications which use deprecated services. Now, the other um, link that you might have just seen on this page is down here. It's IBM Cloud Experimental Services. Um, so you can you can see a bunch of services which are um, which are actually experimental. Um, so again, these services are well; they're not even at, at beta stage. Um, some of them are some of them are deprecated as well. Um, so again, you can go and use these, and you can uh, try them out. Um, but um, if you start to create applications around them, um, do so with extreme caution because you know these these may disappear um, without any notice, and um, you know may may not even make it to beta, let alone to the full catalogue. Anyway, um, so let's go back to um, let's go back to all all services in the catalog. So I'm going to uh, click back up here. There we go. So we've got our full catalog back. So again, if you want to search by um, search by particular um, categories, you can you can obviously click with the menu down here. So compute gives you all those different compute options. Um, similarly, AI will show you all the different AI options. Um, if you know the name of the service, then you can obviously um, uh, type it in here. Um, so um, 
Cloudant, for instance. Um, if you want to, um, if you have a an idea that you want to do something in particular, so for instance, let's say logging. Um, so you can you can type in logging and, and you'll find the log analysis tool for for example. So actually the catalog is quite a good place to actually go and uh, go and explore, have a look at services. Um, you, you'll see a sort of a in each of these boxes a, a little bit of a sort of a praises of, of what the service is about. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll we'll go and have a look at um, a particular service. Um, so let's go for AI and let's go for uh, language translator. So this is uh, so this is uh, quite a nice one. So okay, so when you actually click on a service, um, what you get is a, a bit of a bit more of a description as to as to what it actually is. Um, if you want to, you can go and see uh, the documentation from this page as well. So um, so you can uh, you can go and do that. Click on there, and it actually opens it up in a new tab for you. Um, so the documentation in IBM Cloud is actually pretty good. It's it's quite comprehensive. Um, it's constantly being updated. Um, similarly, if you if you read through it and you find something's missing or not correct, um, you can actually uh, click this edit in Git, GitHub um, link, and you can go and suggest changes. We won't, I won't do that now, but I'll I'll perhaps again show you that later in a, in another video. Um, so, um, so so yeah, so the so so this um, the IBM Cloud Docs is actually a really good place to um, start learning a bit more about some of these services as well. Um, if you if you have some time, so back to the um, back to the, the service in the catalog. Um, this link here shows you the terms of the service. Um, so um, lots of different languages there. So what this effectively does is um, it actually gives you a description of the service. Um, it tells you um, how how it's deployed, um, things about um, data protection, etc. Service level agreements, which may well be uh, quite important for you, so you can. Uh, you know, see what the, the, the availability is, etc., etc., of the actual service, which I say is quite important if you're creating an application around it. And uh, then it talks about charge metrics and how it's charged, etc., etc. So this basically sets out, um, you know, more detail about the actual terms of the service that you're using. So it's a good, again, it's a good thing to go and look at and understand. So going back, uh, you can also see here the author. So you know, this is a, an IBM Watson um, service. Um, you can see when it was last published. So this uh, was last updated um, the 16th, so 16th of November 2018. Um, so this is uh, so so at the time of recording, this was actually only five days ago. Um, so this service has been around for quite a long time, but you know services are constantly updated and uh, and uh, being worked on. So uh, so you can at least see when it was last updated, and you can see the type as well. So you can see it's a service. Um, so again, you can see a little bit more here about features. Um, so, and again, this is common on all of the uh, uh, common on all services. And uh, probably what's uh, going to be quite important is actually the pricing plans because this is how much you'll actually pay to use this service. So, um, this service is actually available uh, with a light plan. So, um, uh, so as you can see here, um, the the pricing is free. Um, and there's a bit more details about the plan here, so you can see here that you can actually use this plan for up to a million characters a month. So if you want to use this as a as a translator, um, you can, tr as you say, you can you can translate up to a million characters a month without any charge. Um, it also t reminds you here that uh, if it's inactive, it will delete it after 30 days. If you want to change plan, um, then effectively you just click on the next one. So click on standard. And uh, you can see here that with a standard plan, uh, the, the, there's a free tier to this. So the first 250 characters, 250,000 characters rather, are free of charge. So you don't pay uh, until you actually start to uh, breach that limit. And um, and then what you're paying for this particular service is, well, it's uh, it's just a little bit over a penny um, per thousand characters. So these these prices are obviously in. Uh, um, UK pounds, British pounds, or pounds sterling, um, depending on where you are in the world, um, this will actually um, default to your particular country or region, um, as it has done for me for the United Kingdom. So it will show you pricing in dollars or whatever is appropriate for where for where you actually are. So um, th there's uh, there's actually um, um, four plans for this. There's light standard. There's the advanced. So again, if you um, if you're um, if you're a heavier user, then it may be more advantage, uh, you know, 
price wise it might be more advantageous for you to go to the advanced plan so you can see how much that costs for you as well and then if you're a really heavy user um, then you can sign up for premium plans and uh, with premium plans you tend to need to actually um, sign up through a, you know with through an agreement with IBM and you you then actually get some uh, um, some special pricing for that as well so that's uh, so that's a little bit of detail on the plans as I say um, all services um, have pricing plans um, some may only have um, standard plans um, some may some even may only have light plans um, and um, but, but if you want to see how much uh, each plan is going to cost you to use it then um, th this is where to go for the pricing so to provision a, um, a service the the, um, the the process is pretty standard across the whole catalog so what you need to do is 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 provide a name so um, you know quite often it's good to uh, provide a name which is uh, uh, pertinent to your, your project for instance so you can actually identify it in your uh, in your dashboard so I'm going to call this um, rules translator and I'm going to uh, maybe put that in the dev so I can then choose the uh, the region and the location I want to deploy it in so again if you're um, um, this so this is actually going into a resource group this is an IAM managed service so um, if you um, so so Regardless of whether this is a light plan or whether you have a light account or a paygo account, you can you can de decide where you actually want to deploy this service. So this is the the physical location um, of the of the actual service. So um, so you are actually sending data. So I, I picked Dallas. I am actually sending data to Dallas in this instance. And uh, then what I need to do is is actually select the resource group that I want to put it in. So again, if you're on a light account. You'll have your default resource group, but because this is a uh, this is now a pay as you go account, I've upgraded it. I'm going to put that into my rules dev um, resource group. So that's all I need to do, um, and um, then it's just a simple matter of clicking create. Um, away it goes, and um, it creates that service for me. So there we go. It's uh, it's done that. Okay, so that's the uh, the end of this lab. So just as a quick reminder, the catalog lists all the services that are available in the IBM Cloud, and we uh, we explored how to actually ser search the catalog and uh, find the services that we were after. Um, it's a starting point for provisioning. So again, I just showed you uh, very quickly some of the steps that you need to go through to actually provision a service. Um, and as I said, it's also a place to um, look for pricing and uh, also for things like documentation and further information on the service as well. Okay, and that's it for this particular video. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.